There remain some stubborn mysteries about January 6th. What about the gallows? Wooden gallows built on the west front of the U.S. Capitol with a bright orange noose hanging down. Some newly released video obtained and reviewed by CBS News shows the brazenness with which the pieces were put in place. You can see a group of people truly wheeling the pieces down major iconic streets in the nation's capital in the 6 a.m. hour, January 6th. Yeah, 6 a.m. hour, long before the White House ellipse speech and long before the rioters emerged at the Capitol. According to the review by a U.S. House subcommittee, the main beams were put in place early that morning as well. The crossbar and the noose put in place in the 1 p.m. hour. Nobody's been identified that is associated with the erection of that gallows. And it is a mystery that remains intransigently surrounding the horrors of January 6th. I'm Ed Martin with the Pro-America Report. There are many unanswered questions about what really happened at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, 2021. Over the coming weeks, we're going to share video from that day and the days surrounding January 6th we're going to ask questions, and together we're going to find answers, and we're going to demand justice. To understand what happened, we have to look at who the real architects of January 6th were. Not the thousands of people who assembled, or even the people who called them to assemble. Who took that event and weaponized it into the dark day it became? Who set the narrative in motion? Who planned? and staged the now infamous optics of January 6th. Like this, the infamous gallows. The media said the gallows was built because MAGA supporters intended to hang someone, maybe Mike Pence. The picture of the gallows perfectly framing the Capitol became a defining image of January 6th all around the world. So. Who built the gallows? Let's look at the facts. Early morning footage captures three individuals unloading wooden pieces of what would later be assembled into the gallows. Separate footage, though grainy, seems to show two more participants arriving at the same time by taxi. Together, the five people proceed to assemble the now infamous gallows. Over 1,000 patriots have been arrested after January 6th. But these five, these few who built the gallows on camera, they remain nameless and unknown to the public. They built a gallows and hung a noose right on the mall in front of the U.S. Capitol. And yet no law enforcement appears to question them, much less stop them. Funny how that worked out. One individual, dressed in a trench coat and a fedora-like hat and using a cane, he leaves the group, the Gallows Gang, to go and get coffee. Remember, it's 6.45 or so in the morning. There are very few, if any, coffee spots open at that time of day. Luckily, the trench-coated man I call Mr. Coffee, he knows just where to go. He walks straight across the road and down the way to a little spot that he obviously knew directly across from the FBI building. Upon Mr. Coffee's return, the group gathers briefly, perhaps to admire their prime choice of location. It was, after all, perfect for the coming photo op to spread the narrative about January 6th. Shortly after this, both the taxi and the van have left the scene, disappearing as mysteriously as they arrived. Almost three years has elapsed since January 6th, and many questions persist. Why, with all the FBI's resources, does Mr. Coffee's identity remain unknown? And what about his team with their premeditated, prefabbed plywood and wheels that were used to build a platform to supposedly hang someone? Wouldn't these people be persons of interest? Shouldn't federal law enforcement care? Neither the January 6th Select Committee of Nancy Pelosi and Liz Cheney, nor the FBI, despite having arrested over 1,000 Americans to date, seem to have taken any interest in the case 
of that sharp-dressed Mr. Coffee and his gallow-building team. We wonder, is there more to the story? There's someone out there who knows Mr. Coffee. Was this trench-coated man a MAGA supporter in disguise? Or might he have been part of another group altogether? If you have any information to share, please call us at 314-256-1776. Nobody's been identified that is associated with the erection of that gallows. And it is a mystery that remains intransigently surrounding the horrors of January 6th. So 